Hey there, welcome to this Mark's Reviews and Tutorials video. Today we're talking about brake controllers. When you have electronic brakes on a, either a caravan or a trailer, a toy haul or something, you need a system inside your car to actually vary the electric brakes. Now, I have heard someone say to me, ah, it just goes off the brake light, you don't need this. Uh, it doesn't just go off the brake light. You see here, there's four wires that come out of the back of this. You've got your positive and your earth. So for the car, you've got to power this thing. So you've got positive and earth. And then there's two wires. One goes to the brake lights and one goes to the trailer brake connector. If you've got a seven pin flat plug or round plug, then this is one of the ones in that seven pin plug. Or the larger number plug obviously has one for it as well. But this is the specific signal wire that's coming off a brake controller. So if you don't have that, your brakes don't turn on and you cannot um, use a trailer with electric brakes. It's illegal and it's also super, super dangerous. So you do need a brake controller. There are ones you can actually mount to the trailer and then have Bluetooth control through to your phone on the front so you're not mounting anything into your car. Looks good, they were a lot more expensive. They were three times the price. So I wasn't too sure how long I was actually gonna keep the tow vehicle. So I thought, well, there's a good option because it's not vehicle specific. So if you're gonna tow the trailer with lots and lots of different vehicles, maybe it'd be a good idea. But I looked at the reviews online for this electric brake, it was, and they were shocking. Just so many talks of disconnecting, not working, no good. So have a look, it's 2025 now. Have a look now and see uh, if they've fixed that because you know, good companies, when they get feedback like that, will always fix that, get it sorted, putting in a new model. So just go to a, a good review site and see how that one's going. I've decided to go with this. This is a proportional brake controller. The big feature of this one is that it has a, an inertia switch inside it. So this is attached to the vehicle. And as you brake, obviously this is gonna feel it and it varies how hard the trailer brakes are applied depending on this inertia. And they work really well. They work in a really, really big um, range of mounting points where you can put them. But you can imagine if you brake hard, it's gonna like pull and so therefore it'll break the trailer harder. And if you just brake soft, it'll just break the trailer softly. Now, there's a couple of really important buttons on here. All the brake controllers are gonna have these same buttons. You've got an intensity dial that's on the side here. This is when you're setting it up to work out how hard the brake controller will break. If you're finding every time you touch the brakes, the trailer locks up, for instance, then you back it off. If you find every time you brake, it feels like the trailer's not helping, it's just the vehicle doing all the braking, then you increase it. So that's a very important part of the brake controller to get it set and balanced for your vehicle. The other thing, you've got a manual button. Press and hold on this model here to be able to go into reverse and just press to manually brake. You've got a slide over here. So it's got functions and it is necessary. But I think a lot of people who are watching this video, what I want to answer for you is just so you can get your head around a brake controller. Do I actually need it? The answer is if you've got a trailer of electric brakes, yes, you do. A, it's illegal not to. If you've got electric brakes, you, you not tow it with a vehicle that doesn't have a brake controller. And B, it's not safe because you think you'll be okay, but you find yourself going down a hill and the trailer takes over, you won't be okay. The loom here just plugs in the back. And as I said, when it comes to wiring these things in, You've got to connect it to battery. The blue runs through to a specific pin in your seven pin plug. Probably says it here, does it? Here's the wiring diagram for those that want to have a look. This is the base wiring diagram. So you see the, the black is going through to your battery positive. You've got to check the wiring diagram for your unit though, the one you've bought. The white is the negative, the red is going through to your brake, and the blue is the one that comes through through your seven pin plug and sends the signal to the electronic brakes on your trailer. It's train. actually going on to a BMW. Now it has a sophisticated electronic system, so it's monitoring all the globes and everything through voltage as to whether they're blown or not. And it can tell you if a globe goes out and it can tell you which globe has gone out. So really clever, but you start putting electrical things on there, it's gonna get all confused and start to throw codes on the dash. So when you've got a seven pin plug added to something like this, there will always be something like this. Have a look at this um, video up here. I'll put a link I showed when I wired this in, what this is and what it does. Basically, you've got to have trigger wires that when the brake goes on, this, which is also connected to power and earth, sends a signal out. If all of a sudden all of the you know, your blinker or brake lights on your trailer start to pull current, it'll throw a code. So that's what this little box is about. If you've got this, you've got to make sure that you hook your brake controller, not to the brake wire that's part of your car, but you hook it to the brake wire, which is coming out of here, which is the one that goes through to your seven pin plug. You know what a seven pin plug is? 
right here, you've got this with seven pins and you've got, you know, left brinker, right brinker, brake, tail. And now we're going to have the electric brake is going to come through a wire and that's what plugs in to your caravan. So there you go. If you have a car with CAN bus, then you're going to need to connect it not to the car side of this, but to the trailer plug side of this. You can direct connect to the trailer plug in the back if you want, because that's just direct through with a wire. It would be better to do it inside the vehicle. You're not getting dirt and water and so forth on it then. So there you go. That is the base understanding of electronic brake controller. And if you're trying to work out whether or not you need one, the simple fact is if your trailer has electric brakes, you do need one. Click the link here to see how to install one.